maintenance of engine air intake system pipeline system all coupling bolts and nuts should be fastened and lock pin washers and cushions should be in good condition the leakage in air intake pipe may result in the entry of a large number of unfiltered air into intake manifold thus giving rise to early engine wearing pipelines connecting intercooler turbocharger and intake vent are sealed and reliable without leakage air intake rubber pipe is free from loosening and clamp is tightly reliably at torque of 8 Nm. Air intake channel. Clean the dirt in air intake channel by the nozzle weekly. Air filter. Clean the dirt by the nozzle weekly. Clean the filter housing and check for fastening. Remove the filter for main filter cartridge. Blow off the dirt of the surface from inside to outside obliquely by no more than 0.5 megapar clean compressed air. Do not clean safety filter cartridge or remove it except for renewal. Check if the filter cartridge is clean without damage. The seal gasket is complete and is sealed well. The blocking indicator is reset and the car is fitted in a specified direction. Clean the filter interior from inside to outside. Refit air filter. And always keep it vertically face down to facilitate dirt cleaning. Perform maintenance for air filter every 10,000 km and renew main and safety filter cartridge of the same model if maintenance has been done four times or resistance alarm still lights up red or Alarm indicator lamp still lights up after maintenance. Standard configuration by Heiger is fleet guard air filter. Turbocharger. Turbocharger air inlet and outlet has no leakage or oil stain, and all coupling bolts are tightened at specified torque and work normally without abnormal noise. Oil pipe has no leakage or sinking, not contacting the housing and the connector's tightening torque is 15 mm. Rotor's axle clearance is less than 0.10 mm and the impeller and blade has no damage, carbon deposit or oil stain. Warning: When the engine is running, it is forbidden to contact the turbocharger with your hand. Oil filter must be renewed together with the turbocharger which should be pre-lubricated. Intercooler Intercooler is fitted tightly without leaking. It is clean and without damage or crack and is good in heat dissipation. Intake preheater. Air intake heating grill wiring connection is firm. The protective sleeve is in good condition and the grounding is reliable. Exhaust system. Exhaust muffler. Exhaust pipe connecting bolts are fastened. The cushion is in good condition, without leakage, and the hanger is firm. Heat insulation cotton. Heat insulation cotton and plate are complete and reliable. Exhaust bellows. Exhaust bellows are connected reliably without crack. SCR after treatment. Your rear nozzle is free from blocking and Y harness and pipeline is well insulated. The level of SCR after treatment reductant tank should be no less than 6% and ureal fluid should be added if necessary. Change special air filter together with oil filter and diesel filter. Crankcase ventilation unit. Complete unit. Solid connection. No damage or blocking. Regular clean oil pipe and filter every 10,000 km. Lubrication system. Oil sump drain plug. Crankcase cushion is in good condition without leakage. Tightening torque of drain plug from 40 to 80 Nm.
renewal and maintenance of oil filter. Clean oil filter housing. Remove oil filter with a special spanner. Check and clean oil filter seat and prevent the seal ring from being attached on it. In case of renewal, first top up clean oil and apply a thin layer of clean film onto the seal ring. Tighten it with your hand and then rotate three fourths or one of one circle with a special spanner. Start the engine to check that oil filter is sealed well and no leakage occurs on the impact load. Renew oil filter of the same model every 10,000 to 25,000 kilometers. Oil change and filling. Open the filler, fill with new oil at a specified volume and reset the filler cap. Change oil every 10,000 to 25,000 kilometers. CH4 for Euro 3 or less that is 15W slash 40 oil for temperature which is above minus 15 degrees centigrade. 5W slash 20 oil for temperature which is above minus 25 degrees centigrade. CI4 for Euro 4. Press the button start on rear starter to run the engine for 10 minutes. Caution. 1. Turn the key to on position. 2. Gearbox is at neutral position. 3. Pull up parking brake. 4. Place start outside identification on steering wheel. 5. Nobody around. 10 minutes later, press the button stop to switch off the engine. Check the oil level 10 minutes after stopping the engine. The method to verify engine oil filling volume 1. Pull out oil dipstick and wipe off oil stain 2. Slowly insert oil dipstick into place 3. Pull out oil dipstick again to check that oil level falls between scales H and L Oil cooler Oil cooler works reliably and is fitted firmly without leakage Cooling system Expansion tank Expansion tank is fitted firmly without leakage. It is necessary to use antifreeze, not water. Change coolant every two years. Generally use the coolant of ethylene glycol plus water type and add the specified amount of DCA4 corrosion inhibitor to protect cooling system. Make sure that the coolant level is at the middle of the inspection hole on the expansion tank and add from the filler if necessary. Fan blade, wind scooper. Clean the fan to check that its blade is free from deformation, the bolt is free from loosening, and the wind scooper is fixed firmly and is free from any interving with the blade by reserving appropriate distance between them. Pipeline Cooling water pipe is connected reliably without leakage and the rubber pipe is not damaged. Water pump Water pump has no abnormal noise without leakage. The connecting bolts and nuts are tightened and the seal ring is in good condition. Fan angle driver and bracket the bracket is firm without crack and the bolt is tightened reliably. This is oil filler and oil outlet. Renew the 85W-90 API GL-4 angle driver oil every 50,000 km. Fuel supply system Fuel pump Fuel pump is connected reliably and the fuel pipe is not loosened without leakage. Fuel filter Renew the fuel filter of the same model every 10,000 to 25,000 km. Water separator Drain the water and deposit inside the separator weekly or when water lamp lamp lights up. 
Renew the oil separator of the same model every 10,000 to 25,000 kilometers. Empty the system's low pressure pipeline of the renewing water separator cartridge. Screw off the air plug on primary fuel filter, fuel water separation, and press hand oil pump quickly for emptying. Start the engine to check that oil water separator is sealed well and has no leakage under impact load. Common rail pipe. Diesel common rail pipe is fitted firmly, and high and low pressure pipe is not loose without leakage. Injection nozzle. Injection nozzle is fitted firmly. Pipe joint has no leakage, and wire harness is connected reliably without intervening. Other engine parts. Electronic control devices (ECU, ECM) work normally. And are fitted firmly. Cooling pipe works normally without leakage. Do not water flush the engine. When welding on the vehicle, make sure to switch off power sources of all electric apparatus. Remove positive and negative wiring of master power, and pull out wire harness plugs of all ECUs. Otherwise. Electric parts may be damaged. Ground wire. Ground wire is connected reliably and is evenly applied with protective grease, Vaseline or grease. Engine front and rear mounting cushion. The bracket is free from breakage. Engine support washer is in good conditions. Bolt and nut is tightened, and quarter pin is also in good condition. Belt inspection and adjustment. The belt is in good condition, has no crack or excessive wearing, and is free from stain on the surface. The paired V belts should be renewed together and fitted in the same direction due to their different tension. Keep the belt at appropriate degree of tightness, and apply the force of 30 to 40 m at the middle position. With deflection of 10 to 15 mm, intermediate pulley, intermediate unit is tightened reliably, and intermediate bearing is free from run out. Fuel lubrication nozzle with general number two lithium base grease. Tension pulley. Tension pulley is fixed firmly and works normally, and the bearing is free from loosening or abnormal noise.